one piece of content that I've always seen people really interested in when doing quote unquote vibe coding is how to write a good PRD. And I think that the best way I can give you an example of this is by showing you how I would do it as someone who's been building products and coding for 10 plus years. And basically what we're gonna do is, so follow along, is we're gonna create a mini series where we're gonna create a project from scratch um, starting by the PRD, and then we're gonna move on to our terminal, to our code, and we're just gonna quote unquote vibe code it all. I'm gonna try to interfere the least. So one thing is that I've been using Grok for PRDs. I feel it's really, really good, especially if you make the think or a deep search. Um, it just, I don't know, I just really like the output. That's the only way I can, thing I can say. So I think that a good PRD includes big picture, goals, who is it for, core features, how it works, the tech stack, the user journey, and basically kind of like the next steps. The tools we're gonna use is Grok for PRD planning, Cursor plus Claude 3.7, Lovable U to build the UI, and then in the tech stack, we're gonna use Turbo Repo, Next.js, Nest.js, Plaid, Tailwind, Shad, BullMQ, Q, uh, and Prisma ORM, and for auth, we're gonna use better auth. That is my zero to 100 stack. I die by that stack. I will always use it. I don't care what anyone says. That's just me, you do you. Great, so how do I start? Basically, I'm using this tool that's called Super Whisper. I'll die on this hill, best tool out there right now. I don't even type anymore, it's just dictating. So what I would do is I would bring this tool up and I'll start telling it what I want. It'll insert the text and then we'll start the planning process. All right, so action. I wanna build a personal finance dashboard. Basically, I want something that you can hook up your bank accounts using Plaid and then it slaps all your money stats into one spot. That means your net worth, your balances, your transactions. Super simple, but dope. I'm gonna build it real quick using cursor, chat GPT, and lovable UI. So in your spec, make sure you're being as detailed as possible so we can also include specs or prompts for our designer in this case, right? Cool. So what do we want? We wanna see the big picture, the goals, who is this for, core features, how does it work, the tech stack, the user journey, and next steps. Finally, the tech stack, the minimum that we wanna use is, we wanna use Turbo Repo, because it's gonna be a mono repo, Next.js on the front end, Nest.js on the back end, Plaid, Tailwind, and Shad CN for UI. Bull and Q and Redis are gonna be a little bit more back endy stuff, but we wanna use them in order to sync our Plaid data. We're gonna use Prisma ORM in order to interface with the database. The database should be Postgres. And for authentication in Next, we're gonna use better auth. Finally, before we get started, please ask me three to four clarifying questions if you need in order to understand better what we wanna build. So now what it's doing, it's processing, it's transcribing, it's using a highly intelligent AI model, and then it's passing it through Claude to improve my text, right? So Basically, everything I just jambled, it made it even way cleaner. So now we're just gonna hit enter. And you know what, let's use the thing. Great, so now, because I told it to ask us um, clarifying questions in order to do a better job at making the PRD, we're gonna go ahead and answer those questions. Uh, for question number one, we just want to do exactly what I said. Um, in the future, we want, might want to do um, investment performance, but for right now, let's just keep it to exactly the requirements that we mentioned. Question number two, how do you envision your data synchronization process with Plaid? Well, I imagine daily, maybe twice a day for right now, so maybe once in the morning, once in the afternoon, should be triggered uh, through a cron job in the back end, and it should be th uh, using BullMQ and Redis. For question number three, what level of user customization do you want for the dashboard? Let's keep it very simple, just read data, no customization. Um, it should be a very cool UI, should have charts, but it should also be very clean and minimal. For number four, are there any specific security or compliance requirements? Not really, this is gonna be internal, just for me. Um, but yeah, just for me right now, that's, that's it. Great, so it's now doing its thing.
Awesome. So now let's just go ahead. It gave us basically, it just spit out, right? Because we're basically having a conversation. So it just, you know, replied to what I said. So let's go ahead and say, all right, great. Now that you understand the project, please build me a PRD with everything that we mentioned. Awesome. So already kind of looks banger. This is exactly what I think a PRD should look like. Good introduction. This document outlines the requirements for building personal finance. Da, 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 da. Purpose and goals. Consolidated financial data. Automated data updates. Deliver a lovable UI. Um, ensure simplicity. Target audience. This dashboard is designed exclusively for me, as we said. Great. This looks amazing. User journey. Sign up and login. Connect bank accounts. Initial data fetch. Dashboard view. Automatic updates. Sweet. This actually looks really, really good in my opinion. So yeah, this is how I would build the PRD. Now I'll make another videos where we start plugging this up and building from the PRD. One last thing actually. All right, um, now I wanna build a very modern new looking but minimalistic UI. You know, we can maybe leverage Shad CM components please build me a designer spec, including a color palette and um, design specifics so we can give to our designer so they can build this dashboard. Include details about what we're trying to build as well. Sweet. So now what I would do is I would copy this entire thing and I would go to Lovable and just paste it there and then start working on Lovable. This is actually pretty, pretty neat um sweet stay tuned second video we're gonna get into more either building the lovable ui just for the fun of it or starting getting into uh setting up the code whichever either way there's gonna be like five little videos so yeah just follow along